Let's get to Jared because we have Salesforce earnings. Jared? Yeah, that's right. Stock is off about 5% in after hours trading. It was, they did beat on both their top and bottom lines. I don't want to bury the lead here. They have a new co-CEO. I will get to that in a second, but first, Third quarter results, revenue coming in at 6.86 billion, a small beat over the estimate of 6.8 billion. Should note that it was up 27% year over year. Adjusted EPS was a big beat coming in at $1.27. Estimate was for 92 cents. The fourth quarter, uh, excuse me, the fourth quarter forecast a little bit weaker than estimates that may be partly responsible for the down move here in the stock. They're seeing adjusted EPS at 72 to 73 cents. The estimate was for about 10 cents higher. Uh, but let's get to that uh, new co-CEO designation. It's going to be Brett Taylor. He is being promoted to vice chair of the board and co-CEO of Salesforce. This is effective as of immediately. Previously, he served as president, chief operating officer since 2019. Mark Benioff, the chair and also a CEO who's going to stay in that position saying, Brett is a phenomenal industry leader who has been instrumental in creating inevitable success for our customers and driving innovation throughout our company. He has been my trusted friend for years and I couldn't be happier to welcome him as co-CEO. 